All right, guys, so we just finished masking some text with um, an object. And in this one, what we, this one's going to be uh, doing some 3D tracking. What 3D tracking means is we're going to take a video and we're going to um, put some text in it and make it actually look like that text is there and it's in 3D. And so um, I took some video of this awesome conference room that I've been working in. Oops, got it in there twice. And uh, just something real quick, just about five to seven seconds, just to kind of see um, and how to move through space. So um, let me go ahead and drag this onto my Create a New Composition button. And as I preview the video, you'll you'll see that it basically I'm just moving around and have some motion inside the video itself and you'll wanna uh, make a short video that does have some motion to it because it'll help you to be able to see the text actually be in um, looking like it's there in 3D okay so once we've got our video in what we want to do is we want to come up to window and we want to click on tracker now remember this is uh, 3d tracking that we're doing 3d motion tracking so we click on tracker and it opens up this tracker tab down here in this panel so to start what I want to do is I want to hit track camera and when I do that you'll see that it says analyzing in background and then over here it's going to say initializing and it's going to run through all of the frames that I took and it's got to kind of go through frame by frame and analyze all the 3D um, shapes and different things throughout each of the video. That's why we don't want it to do, go very long. So you can see it's on about that far. So I'm going to pause this for a second and I'll come back. when. Alright, so it looks like it's just finishing up and now it's going into solving camera which is kind of the second step and once it finishes that, what you'll see is that it's going to come up with all these red and green and blue dots everywhere. It's going to look a little crazy, um, but that's okay. That's what we want. That's what it's supposed to do. So we just got to wait just a second for that, and there it goes. And so uh, these are all the 3D points that it found throughout the video then. So what I want to do, I want to find a point where I want to put my text. So I think I want my text to go right there so it looks like it's sitting on the table. So I'm going to go ahead and do a two finger click right on that uh, red target. And I'm going to hit create text and camera. And when it does that, it puts my text in. And so what I want to do, I want to go, come up to my text tool. And I'm going to select it and double click on it. And I'm going to put my name in there. Can't tell if I even spelled it right, but I think I did. Um, so let me select that and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that it will fit. Oops, I put two G's. thought it might have. And let's fix that. Alright, now I'm going to Sorry about that. Okay, so oh. let me make this a little bit bigger again. Apparently, I undid it, and that looks. Let's go. Five. Okay, so let me move this back over again, so that it's sitting right there on the table. Now, right now, it's just laying flat on the table. But if I come up to my rotation tool up here, I can actually rotate it. So I can rotate it in the Z axis, which is like that. I can rotate it in the Y axis, which is like that. Or I can rotate it in the X axis, which is like that, and it just kind of like stands it up. So I think that looks pretty good. And the cool thing about this now is that once that's standing up, as I play through the video, it keeps that text right in place there. And it looks like that text is just kind of sitting there on the table. Now, it gets a little crazy at the end. I don't know why it 
got so crazy at the end. But, I mean, that's kind of cool. So there, so your tech's just kind of sitting on the table. Okay, guys, so that's your task, is to try to add some text and do some 3D tracking. Um, you may want to do like your superhero, maybe you do your sidekick and you say starring and then it kind of comes up and shows them as well. So see if you can do that and see how you do with that. Good luck.